Tonight, Hometown TV is on location at the Grand Summit Hotel at the Suburban Chamber of Commerce annual Tying the Communities Together dinner. And with me is the Vice Chairman of the Suburban Chambers, Patricia Swan. Good evening, Joe. How are you? Hi. Thanks for inviting us, and we're glad we're here. It's a wonderful event. It, this is the night that we celebrate the amazing businesses of Summit, New Providence, and Berkeley Heights, and we're thrilled to be here together. Okay, and uh, all of the things that are going on tonight started when? A hundred years ago, tonight. Uh, we are thrilled that this really is the 100th anniversary of the Suburban Chamber of Commerce, though it's gone by several names. Tonight, we really are honoring the communities and their commitment to the business community over uh, truly a century. Okay, and in the next few minutes, we're going to talk to a few of those folks who are going to be honored. Chris Cotter is a longtime friend of Hometown TV and also a uh, former administrator for the City of Summit, former fire chief, former community services director, and he's with us to tell us a little bit about one of the services that is going to be recognized tonight. Thank you, uh, Joe. So um, being recognized tonight is a joint dispatch center now located in New Providence that serves Summit, New Providence, and the Township of Milburn. Uh, it was a, a program that was underway for about five years in the planning stage involving the administrators in those three communities, the chiefs of police and fire chiefs, and uh, we're really pleased that it's been established. It's had a lot of success so far and uh, delighted that it's being recognized by the chamber tonight. You have been now with Summit Downtown for over a decade. Correct. Actually, over 11 years. 11 years. When you got here and what it is today, share that with us. I think the evolution of downtown, I can go back further, Joe, since I was raised here, raised my children here, married a Summit guy. Um, I think the difference between our downtown today and even when I started is the evolution of retail, what retail has turned into. And thankfully, Summit still has downtown mom and pops, but we've got a nice potpourri and variety of corporate stores as well. And we have restaurants that are coming in that are adding to the flavor of downtown. David Dietz is with us now. David, you've been uh, in Summit for now well over 20 years. You've been active in everything. You're president of the Board of Education. But uh, what has been your most impressive thing about Summit and that you enjoy the most? Well, Joe, I mean, it's just the people when you get right down to it. We've got such a great group of people. They're so interesting. There's so many different circles and there's so many ways to give back. I am so fortunate here to be honored by the chamber. But, you know, when I look around, there's so many other distinguished citizens out there and I'm just glad to be a part of it. When uh, you first came to Summit, what did you see then and what do you see today? Okay, well, I think the big change has been just the institution of the Midtown Direct. Um, that has made all the difference in the world and I think has kept Summit strong even when things got volatile with the downturn because here you can live in a great community and if you have to go into New York to work, you can do that. Fortunately, I've been able to operate our own business. We have 10 wonderful employees right from downtown Summit. And so what I love about this town is, yeah, you can go into New York, but there's some wonderful opportunities here. And fortunately, we have a Chamber of Commerce that enables networking opportunities, gives us great program to learn how to run our business better. And I'm so glad that I'm a part of that. Well, the Lions Club is international and we serve the blind. And right here in Summit, we have people that need eyeglasses and eye surgery and we've been taking care of them for 90 years. This is our 90th celebration. And uh, I'm also very involved at St. Teresa's and we help serve the uh, less fortunate with loaves and fishes, the food program. People need food and they live right here in town. At the rate you're going, you may be our gold award winner in 25. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, it's really been an honor and a pleasure to help out. And of course, uh, I, I hope to continue doing it because I like it so much. I'm not going anywhere for a while. Joining us now is Summit Mayor Nora Radist, and she's here to help us celebrate at the Chamber Dinner. Hello, Joe. How are you? Great. 
what do you think about having dinners like this within the community? Oh, it's really wonderful to celebrate the great hard work that so many of our of our volunteers do. We have people like Maren Mixon and David Dietz and Peter Twill who are busy with their businesses, but also they give back in so many ways to the community. I, I just think it's spectacular, and we come together from all a couple of different towns and celebrate uh, the accomplishments and the and the hard work of these individuals. And the community, how does it benefit from all this? Oh, well, I mean, David Dietz is putting in a lot of time at the Board of Education. Peter Twill gives back through his company in so many ways to various organizations that are having their events, um, that he helps with their printing, he helps them organize. My son as a young man started a business. Peter helped him organize and, and what the business should look like and how to make how to do all the graphics. And Maren Mixon, obviously she was an employee at SDI um, and, and a terrific one at that, but she also gave of herself. And, and that means everything. We are enriched every Every day by the amazing volunteers in our communities. And there you have it, an exciting celebration featuring seven great organizations and individuals who really give to the community and have been recognized by the Suburban Chamber of Commerce and all of the people here enjoyed the event immensely and we're glad that you could be part of it with us. So for Hometown TV, I'm Joe Steiner. Thanks very much for being with us.